This is A Hoops. We're outside the Songa Center with head coach of UMass Lowell men's basketball, Pat Duquette. We're going to take a little walk down by the river, the mills. Uh, coach, Boston guy, Massachusetts guy. You've lived in Boston for a while. Coached at Northeastern, BC, yeah. now here. Uh, give me a little bit about just your background, your, your local roots here. Yeah, I mean, I've been super lucky, right? Most coaches uh, in this business bounce around all the time and, you know, have to move and I haven't had to do that for 20 years. I got here in 97, caught my big break, so to speak. Um, I was up at St. Michael's in Vermont, and I, I latched on at Boston College with Coach Skinner on his staff. And we had a lot of success there, as a lot of people in this area remember. You know, to be in the coaching business and be able to stay in one city for, for over 20 years, so I, I realize how lucky I am. In particular, I say Boston's my home. Really, the North End's my home. And, uh, I lived in other parts of the city, but the North End is so unique. It's 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 a neighborhood, and the people that have been there a long time uh, realize that and and want it to stay that way. And you know, I've had the same you know barber for 20 years. I've had the same dry cleaner and uh, the same owners of the restaurants. You get to know uh, people and really feel like it's a neighborhood. You know, within a bigger city, which. When I sense that, you know, I know how unique that is. Uh, I really appreciated it. I know North End can be a little tricky for parking. You have a car to get here, but you also have another mode of transportation to get around locally in the city. Is that correct? Yeah, my electric bike, which <laughs> yeah, most people just kind of shake their head. Uh, if I could do it, I would think I would commute to Lowell with my electric bike because <laughs> I wouldn't have any prob problem parking. Uh, it, it's my favorite thing to do after work is uh, get on my bike and just kind of explore other areas of the city. Uh, you know, sometimes I'm worried that it's gonna be the end of me. Uh, I'm not always uh, driving according to the, the rules of the road. So uh, kind of make up my path as I go. But uh, I really like it just to unwind at the end of the day and to see other parts of the city that I wouldn't necessarily walk to. Um, it's been a great thing for me. I wanna to touch on one thing going back to your days at BC. Yeah. You coached a couple NBA guys. You still in touch with them? Yeah, funny you should ask. Um, Jared Dudley was in town Friday night for the Boston College football game. and He came to the North End. I met up with him for dinner. Um, he's still in the NBA. Uh, Reggie Jackson uh, is still in the NBA. Those are the only two that are, are left. I think total we had probably five or six guys. Um, but Jared's played, I think, 13 years. And, of course, he was on the same teams as Lewis Hinnant, uh, my assistant coach. Uh, Reggie Jackson and I stay in touch. And obviously, he's a starting point guard for the D Detroit Pistons. I'm really proud of both those guys. And Biko Paris, my other assistant coach, played for three years with Reggie too. So, you know, it's it's nice to see them have the success they do, uh, and it's nice that everybody stays in touch because that, in the end, that's what it's about. You know, forming those relationships where you can, you know, be friends and be a part of each other's lives. You know, for a long time. And, and we've done that, and Biko and Lewis have stayed uh, in touch with both those guys. Well, glad you've been able to stay local, Coach. We'll look forward to seeing you around the streets of Boston. Thanks, pal. I'll try not to run you over. <laughs> this is A.E. Hoops. That's Pat Duquette.